Well, it's Lent time again. I know what that means. Fish sandwiches are back on the menu at certain chains. Means to bring them out for limited time. Case in point, this little book bad boy from Jack in the Box. Definitely got duped by what was on the what they showed in the picture at the shop. Probably if I get a bigger one, they'll do the double. But let's see how this pans out. Doesn't look any different from your run-of-the-mill fish sandwich. Just lettuce, tartar sauce, brioche bun, and a fried fillet lay of fish. I'm not sure if it's cod, pollock, or flounder in this one. God bless her eat that and eat the dakimas. Let's find out. There's my bite mark. Hmm. It's too thin for cod. I don't go to jack that often, Graf. If you check my catalog in this when I do these videos, most of them are either Hardee's, Taco Bell, Wendy's, or Wendy's. Or whatever snacks and breakfast cereals I happen to stumble across. I think this is Pollock for some reason. It's not big enough to be cod, but yet not bland enough, but not salty enough to be flounder either. So I'm going to guess that this is a Pollock filet. Which doesn't really surprise me, to be honest. Hey, Cap. This was kind of generic. It was okay, but I've had Pollock filet sandwiches from other joints. I'm going to give this one a 7. Been on a 1 to 10 scale. Not one of Jack in the Box's better idea. Better, better takes on the fish sandwich. How's that not surprise me, Raph? They have Wendy's up where you live, don't you? Yeah, don't they? Try going there for one. To be fair, I've never had had Wendy's baked Alaskan cod fillet, Alaskan cod fillet sandwich either. Leave a comment, smash the like, sub to the channel. Goodbye. Good night. Mom's calling. Mom. Um, uh, are you home? Just got home. Okay, do me a favor. Doug left the gate open on the other side of the house. Could you go close the gate and lock it on your side over there by the White House? Sure. On the okay. left side of the house? Yeah, the side by the house is for sale. Okay. All right, thanks. Bye.